What is up you guys, Aeot Slants again on your screen and welcome back to another video about Filmora. As you can see on the thumbnail and the title, Filmora has already launched their public beta testing of their Filmora 12 and today I will be showing you the things that I like about their new update or new features and also the things that they can somehow improve before they release the final version of Filmora 12. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, user interface and design. I've had a small talk with the Filmora team last September 2022 and I said that I really liked the user interface of Filmora 11 and its clean design. But now, in Filmora 12, I can see that they improved it more and made it eye-pleasing for every editor out there. It's like when Instagram changed their logo from this old one to this new one. Filmora 12 has now been designed to celebrate creativity, simplicity and self-expression that now signifies focus youthfulness and now has a high visual saliency than ever before who that love edit with this kind of software environment right next off workspace layouts this new feature is very nice because editors can now use whatever editing layout they want for their project whether they want to use the default mode Organize mode, which focuses more on your media files to make it more organized before you edit heavily. There's also a timeline mode, which emphasizes your editing timeline to see your clips clearly and edit swiftly. There's this also short video mode, which I like the most because you can see your short video clearly and not with the bulky black bars on the side. Or you can just go with the classic one, which many editors love to use. But again, editing short video using the classic is not recommended for me because you can see clearly your video files or your video clips, not like the short video mode. If you have dual monitor, you can also use it, but unfortunately, I don't have one, so I can try that. However, Filmora can still improve this feature by letting the editors make their own layout and with not just a preset that they provided so that editors can be comfortable for whatever layout they will be using for their project right let us edit our own workspace layout all in all this is a big update for Filmora and they are now really competing with the other editing software out there while making it still beginner friendly and of course still budget friendly for editors like me Third one is the keyboard shortcuts. I really love this update because I was also the one who suggested this feature to the Filmora team last September 2022 when we had our online interview. I love this because it lets you customize your own keyboard shortcut for whatever tab you want to go to, files, preferences, and especially tools. You can now edit your own keyboard shortcut. You can designate a certain key or combination so that your editing will be much more faster than ever before since you're not comfortable with the keyboard shortcuts that you have set. Now, you don't have to memorize everything because you can now customize it for your convenience. You can now also use the presets from other editing software if you have ever used them before. One thing that they can improve about this is its location in the software itself. It took me minutes to finally find its location and I saw that it is inside this toolbox right here. What am I suggesting is that they can put this keyboard shortcuts outside the toolbox like right here on the side so that the editors, especially the beginners, will immediately see that in Filmora 12, hey, you can freely customize every key to your liking. Last one is the AI Audio Stretch. This is the last feature that I will cover in this video, but hey, they have more to offer that I haven't showed you guys. You can check them all using the download link below. AI Audio Stretch is a lifesaver because it can automatically stretch your audio file by reading it 
and making it longer than the original audio track. Just look at this. Just click this tool or press S. Then you can just drag and sustain it to the end. It will process, it will read your music and it will magically make your audio track longer. Back then in Filmora 11, I used to play several background music clips under my editing timeline and it is stressful when the music or backing track doesn't match. You constantly need to copy and paste, adjust the fade in and the fade out and it's just pain in the ass. But now, using this AI tool, you can stretch your audio how long you want it to go. Like this audio track that I have, I can make it from 4 minutes or 3 minutes to 11 minutes. I can sustain it to the end of my, let's say, a short film or a short movie, you know? And the music will still be good to hear without any problem. That's all for me today, and I hope you can try Filmora 12 soon for yourself. Wondershare Filmora is trying their best to give you a wonderful experience with video editing without the need of breaking your bank or wallet. If you guys have some questions, you can leave them all in the comment section below. Hey, it's Lance and I'm signing off. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out.